Well, all right, guys. So we're back at it again. Apologize in advance if I'm looking like I'm pretty ratty. It's because I got I was out for a walk earlier. I get caught in this giant hailstorm, just get smashed up, right? Soaked, and for like some reason, it was only on my back. This uh, the sky crying tear. Uh, we're coming down from the one direction only, right? And it was sideways from the back. Uh, anyway, so we're back here. We're back at it, and uh, this is where we left off. Got the bearings on there. Wouldn't you know it? They're not supposed to be on there, right? They're supposed to be in there, in this, in this thing here. This, that, this. Here, this thing right there, this side right there, that thing. They're supposed to be in there. So I gotta, I gotta we gotta take we gotta take the old ones out of there. Then we're gonna be putting the new ones, those ones, these, right, that, this, this, right, that, this, that thing, this, that. You're going the wrong way. This way, that way, this way, that. So yeah, we're gonna be getting on that today and then we'll get back to the install and Brie will hopefully be happy that we have a washing machine again. I've just been wearing the same dirty clothes. Changing the shirt, obviously got lots of those going. Is this thing on? <laughs> I might end up cleaning off all that garbage is in there too. I'm not sure, but yet that's not looking that great. But in the meantime, some uh, time means I'm gonna be taking this seal out cause it's damaged and the bearings. Okay, well enough talk, let's get to her, right? <laughs> <laughs> so right, use them if you got them. Use these big boys if you got them, right? Just gonna use them to get this guy off the ground here. <clears throat> And that works out good. I mean, that's balanced just about as precariously as you can be balanced, right? Uh, I wonder if I should bust out one of those guys. Oh, okay. So these are going to serve as a, a crisp brace on there, right? What is he, what is going on here, guys? There we go. That'll work. <laughs> what are you doing? Just going to hang you off the side of this. Turns out that's the best angle ever. Okay. So as you saw in the thing over there, there's two bearings and there's this seal. Okay. So right there, that's a little spring to dad on there. You don't want to be having that guy come off. So make sure he's on there. And the first thing you want to be checking is making sure that it fits, right? That it's the right size. So that's pretty good. That's looking all right. So what we're going to do now, oh, just punch the cameras. Just going to take that guy back out of there. Take off the wedding ring because obviously things are going to get nasty. I'm just going to use a framing hammer there, but you could use whatever you like. You could use whatever you like. That worked pretty good actually. Popped her right off. Landed right over there guys. Right on the floor. Right there. There. This. This. Right there. That. This. That. This. This. That. This. That. That. Anyway, looking at that, like it doesn't look like the seal was the problem. I think what was the problem was the fact that the bearings weren't sitting right on the shaft there because everything's in place, right? So call this a mistake or don't call it a mistake or what, but uh, that guy there, this guy, that guy, this guy, that, this guy, that guy, he's in here. That's QP and that's Peep. Peep. There she is. I decided to let him in so they could check it out. Peep really likes being in here, but uh, Koopy, I don't think he really cares that much. Right, Keeps? All right, anyway, onwards and upwards. On birds and up birds. Of course, to get that out of there, we're gonna be using a slide hammer. Put them face and teeth out and you twist her in the end, guys. Once it gets in far enough, it forces these bastards to spread and that's what we're gonna be wanting. So you got your slide hammer, you got your shaky camera, put those in the middle and then you just twist it until they're locked. Now, well, I'm gonna pull up on this guy and I'm gonna swing this guy up and hit it. Of course, you guys get the idea. So I can just put you over here while I do her. It's gotta come out this way, right? <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. That plan's not really working. So, I'm, I'm gonna try another way. Oh, it's too loud in here for you guys. You go in, go in there. Oh no, Koopy no. Don't run from dad. Gonna go in just cause it's gonna be too noisy for you. Oh, this bearing's completely seized. We're gonna try the same thing, but coming out the back way. And then we're gonna smash that other one through the front way. Okay. That way's not working either. So, it's time to get real. so here's the approach I'm gonna go for. And I put it in through and hit the bottom bearing out. Yeah, she's going. You wanna be careful not to hit the wall though, where the bearing goes. That would be a, a not a good. So you can see which is where I was hitting her there. I'm not sure where on the other side. But. Yeah, not a sponsor or anything, but those Nachi, Nachino, uh, pfft, Nachi Quest bearings, these guys, they're pretty good because you saw that shaft, right? That thing sucked. It was just mangled. I put them in there and it still lasted like three, four years. Now you can see the bottom one's out. This was like that, don't worry. That must be where I nicked it last time or perhaps this time. Anyway, I'm just gonna do the same one with that. Knock it out of the bottom there and uh, then we'll put in the new ones after cleaning it up and everything. You guys don't gotta see me do that. I'll just show you. It's called Hoon Talk for filming, right? It's not called Hoon Talk Podcast. Hoon Cast the Pod What? So slide hammer, waste of time. Don't do it. Hit him out with, with a punch and a framing hammer. 
Anyway, so yeah, I was just smashing them to get them out. They're mangled before that though. Obviously you can tell. So now what I'm gonna do is take a wire brush and I'm just gonna clean up the bearing surfaces there of uh, any credola. That's looking all right, but it's not looking all right enough, guys. Anyway, that's what you want her to be looking like. Nice and clean. Make it easier to put the other one in, right? The new one. Uh, but we're gonna clean the other side first. So I'm gonna clean the other side, then I'll show you to, how to install them. All right. So got her all cleaned up there. It's looking all right. So you see this little ridge? That's what you want to drive the bearing down onto. But you don't want the bearing to end up looking like that, all damaged. Obviously, this is a post-mortem sort of situation. Huh? I don't know if I have any grease or nothing, or you got some debiati fruity. I'm gonna fix this up first. I had to take off that covering because it wouldn't fit. The bearing wouldn't fit on there. I just want to make sure this is gonna be even. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over it. Maybe run it on the inside of this. Uh, a piece of aluminum tape, and then I think we'll be good to go. All right, so it's not pretty. <laughs> but it'll do the trick. And like I said, it's just to take up a bit of clearance that this thing had from before. So I'm gonna use this piece of wood to try to drive it in first. Should be okay. We'll find out, I guess. So there he is, sitting pretty. Try not to damage the bearing because that'll make it kind of pointless, right? You guys get the idea. You just do that till it's in there and then go around the edge, just tap it in till it's completely seated. Once it's in, it should look like that. A little bit recessed, about as thick as a seal. To get it flush, I had that guy and this guy and I smacked the end of that guy like this because it had to be recessed. I just put one of these guys, an extension, and I just tapped each side, being careful not to dent the little metal shield. But yeah, so we got that guy going. So now we're gonna put this guy in there. I'm just gonna use my piece of wood again here, guys. I'm gonna wood up again. So I'll kind of give you a demo of what I did with the other one. So I had that one sitting flush, this guy on there. I'm just going until the seal's flush. Don't need these anymore. That's looking good, I think. That's there now. Flush. And again, that tape in there is just to take up some clearance on that shaft that got worn down a bit. Make it last longer. Running out of batteries. What are we doing again? Same old, same old, these guys. This bearing, I don't think it matters either which direction it goes in. And uh, there's a lip on this too. I don't know if you saw that. Once you jam her down, it'll be hitting that. Start her off easy. Pay attention, bud. One thing at a time. Okay, that appears to be as far as she's gonna go, but it's not all the way down. Maybe give her one of these guys. I don't know if that's all the way in, guys. It's hard to tell, it really is. So I'm gonna get a little or one of these. I'm just gonna hit the edges here. Okay, so I'm gonna check from the other side to make sure. Imagine if I had a light, eh? All right, guys, I'm thinking that's good. I don't know how much of that you can see. A little edge to, little edge to going. Okay, well, that's how you install new bearings on your Frigidaire side loader washer or something or nothing. Anyway, uh, now I'm gonna go back upstairs, gonna bolt this back onto the drum and then jam this guy right in there. And, uh, you know, hope for the best, right? That's, well, that's all we can do, guys, is just hope for the best. Like, favorite, subscribe. Good old Russian round off on that one. You got some Debiati fruity. Just trying to give her a little bit of liberacy. In hindsight, it was stupid, alright? But at the time, it didn't seem that dumb.